Hey, this is Aaron with SimpleTix. In this video, we're gonna create an event on SimpleTix and then connect it with Zoom so our event automatically becomes a webinar. When people register for this event online, they automatically become webinar attendees, so they'll all have their own private link to join the webinar. And we're also gonna connect with Square so we can take payments online and all the funds will go straight to our Square account. So let's dive in. So here we're creating our event on how to build a tiny house. Now I'll choose the option that this is an online webinar event by clicking here. And um, the category is class and workshop. And now I'll put my event details in. And now I'll drag and drop an image in. Okay, now I'll choose next. Now we'll connect it with our Zoom account. These are the settings that SimpleTix will require. I will click authorize. And now our SimpleTix account is connected with our Zoom account. This will be a three time event. So I'll choose the option here to schedule multiple times. And I'll say, I'll choose specific dates. All right, so let's choose our very first event time. It will be May 22nd at 9.30 AM. And it'll be three days in a row. So I'll go ahead and choose these three days and then I'll click next. I'll go ahead and create my ticket type. Our Zoom webinar account allows up to 100 attendees at a time. So in our case, I'll put 100 here to put a cap on that. And I'll set my ticket price as $10. Now I have some more advanced options. If I go into settings, so for example, if I want to pass over my credit card processing fee and my SimpleTix fee to my customer, I can choose this option right here to pass over that fee. And I want people just to register a maximum of one tickets per order. All right, now I'll click done. Awesome, now we're done creating our event. Here's what our event page looks like now has all the event details, people can register online, they can select an event time. But before we make a test order, let's connect our Square account. So in the back end of my SimpleTix site, I'll go to settings and then I'll choose store. And then I see the four main payment options you have with SimpleTix, Square, Stripe, PayPal, and Authorize.net. Let's connect our SimpleTix site with Square. So I'll choose connect. I'll log into my Square account now for SimpleTix to facilitate payments with Square, we'll need a few permissions. Now our SimpleTix site and Square are connected. Let's make a test order. I'll choose a date. I'll choose one ticket and I'll register now. Now I'll complete the checkout page. Our order is now complete. Now let's check out what we see inside Zoom. When I refresh my Zoom webinar page, I go to manage attendees and I can see I have one registrant here. If I click view, I can see the person here. That's awesome. Now let's check out the back end of SimpleTix. So in the back end of SimpleTix, under my event, I can go to order management. I can see the order here. I can see all the order details. And I've also, if I'm curious about all the attendees per event, I can click attendee management and I can see the list of attendees here too. If I ever wanna do an email blast to all the attendees reminding them of the event, I can do it through here too. I can click email attendees and I can compose an email here so all the attendees get a reminder email the day before the event. SimpleTix also emails the attendees an order confirmation right after the order is complete with all the order details how much they paid, details about the event, with click, quick links to put it into their Google Calendar or Outlook calendars. But most importantly, these emails contain the secret link for the webinar that only this attendee will have and they won't share with any friends. Hey, thanks for watching our video today on how to link your SimpleTix account to your Zoom account and your Square account so you can make money selling tickets online to your events.